So welcome to my class. We finished with the measures of dispersion and in this we did standard deviation. And as the students have asked me to do, in standard deviation we have to work out the square root. And uh, I'm just going to take a class just to let you know how I take out the square root with long duration. It's the easiest way to do it. Like for example now, for example, uh, just take this one to uh, one thousand. Let's just take this number. This, we have to find out the square root of one thousand two hundred and twenty-five. Now the important thing is that I'm going to do it with long division. So I put it as twelve. Now we don't have the divisor. We have to work out the divisor. And since it's a square root, we have to find out what, what will be the divisor. Now being a square root, because you're working out the square root, make sure that the divisor and the quotient are the same. We are going to use the same uh, divisor as well as the quotient. We, can't, we won't like to change it. Alright, so let's just work out the square roots. Like for example, uh, 1 square is 1, 2, square of 2 is 4, 3 is 9, 4 square is 12, yes, 5, square is 25, 6 into 6, which means Square means into the same number. 6 into 6 is 36. 7 into 7, 49. 8 into 8, 64. 9 into 9, 81. And 10 into 10 is 100. So just, just check out this. Now, important thing when you're doing the Long, with the long division method, you must pair them. Now we pair them. Pair them means pair is always two. So we move from right hand side to the left hand side this way. So right to the left, right to the left. So this becomes a pair. This becomes a pair. So here, let, let's just take 12. Let's find out which is nearest to it. In fact, we are getting the exact one. Uh, four fours are, sorry, 16. Four into four is 16. All right, not 12. So uh, I've written, so which is the nearest to 12? Nine. So I'm going to write this as the divisor is 3, the quotient is 3. I can't write 3 4s up. It's not the normal division that I'm doing. Otherwise, I'm going to do 3 4s up and I would have got 12. But this is a square root long division. So I have to make sure whatever the divisor, that will be the quotient. So 3 3s up, 9. Is that clear? So, so, uh, 12 minus 9 is how much? 3. Okay. 9, 10, 11, 12, 3. And then I... Okay. I bring down the pair. So wh which is a pair? What do I bring it? Not just one digit. I've got to bring down 25. So I'm going to write as 25. Okay, now here, what I do is, I add up the numbers. That is, the same number that I've used as quotient. Like 3 plus 3 will become 6. I can write 3 and 3 as equal to 6. The same number, divisor and the quotient. 3 plus, this is multiplication. 3 into 3 is 9. This is 3 plus 3. I'm going to add up the same digit. And I get 6. Alright. Now, I'm going to see 
how this is going to be divisible. Now let's just take, if I do, if I take 5, 6 5s are 30. Alright, or you can just try it out. So 6 5s are 30. So what I'll do is, I'm going to take 6 5. Okay, and whichever digit I take, I'm going to multiply with the same digit. So, if it is 5, what will be? What will it be? So, it is 5 5 is 25, 5 6 is 30, 31, 32, and it is actually divisible by the whole of it. Is, there is no remainder. So, for this, Square root of uh, 12, 1225 is 35. Okay, so 35 into 35, just do that. So if you do 35 into 35, you will get the square of 35 will be 1225. Is that right? So just try that out and tell me if it is right or wrong. Okay, now I'm going to take another one. Just let's take another one. Okay. So I'm going to write, let's just take, let's just find out the square root of 4, 1, 2, 0, 9. I'm going to find out the square root. So what do we do? I'm going to do, do a long division to find out the square root of this particular number. So I'm going to write 4, 1, 2, 0, 9. And the first step is pairing them up and how do I pair it I move from the right towards the left so one pair will be this another will be two and one another pair so I get two pairs but this is remain this remains so I let it be and then I start with the now now I've got to decide which is the digit I'm going to use the two digits are the same digit which I'm going to use as a divisor will be used as a quotient because why this is not a simple division this is a division special division for square roots so in this case of course we get it like nothing to even think four for four what will you do I'll take two as a divisor and two as a quotient and what I get is four all right so 2 into 2 get, gets me 4. And I bring down the 12. Okay. And here I'm going to add this up. 2, I get 4. Now if I even if I do 4 into 1, it's going to be 41. It won't go into 12. So what do I do? I'm going to put a 0. And I'm going to bring down... 0, 9. Okay. So I'm going to put it as 0, 9. So I'm going to put it as 40 here. I'm going to put a 0. 0 plus 0 will be again 40. So I, I let, let it be. Now, now let's just uh, decide. 4 ones are 4, 2 are 8, 4 3 are 12. Okay. Let's just, just take 4 and 12. That's how you can also come up with your own way of doing it. But this is how we were taught or this is how we're doing so uh, let me just multiply this again whatever you take the same digit and you multiply with the same so for example if I take 4 0 let's just check 3 into 3 3 is a 9 3 zero is a 0 3 4 is a 12 wow wow it's gone absolutely it's divisible so I put it as 12, 0, 9. I put it as 3. So there is no remainder. Okay. So this is known as. So for this particular 41,209, um, the square root is 203. Is that right? So this is how 
we will do. One, another one I would like to uh, share would be uh, of any decimal, a decimal point. So let's just take a decimal and see how, it, how, how does it go. Because then one should know that if, if a decimal is given, how do you go about it? For example, now let's say uh, this is, you've got to find out the square root of 51.25. All right. So again, with the help of a long division, what we'll do is, I'm going to put it as 5, 1, and 2, 5. Now the interesting thing is, again, you have to make these pairs. Now, in this, after the decimal point, we make pairs going from left to right. This is how we will make. But before the decimal, we work from the right to the left. This is how. Okay. So now, uh, just let's see, 51. We don't have a divisor. We have to, we have to work it out or we have to think which would be now for 51, can you see this? Look at this. Which would be nearer to that? 49? Okay, 64 will be more. 36 will be very less. So which is near about 51 will be 7. So just write down. Let's just take the divisor 7. And the quotient will be 7. 7 7s are 49. Okay. So... Uh, so you minus, this will be again the regular way you would minus. So 11 minus 9 is how much? 2. Okay. And what do you bring down? And this is a 4 minus 4 is 0. And you bring down 20. You put a point here. Put a dot there and bring down the 25. Okay. Now. This was, you multiplied 7 into 7 is 49. Here what you do is, under the divisor, you are going to add this up. 7, you are going to plus this up, add this up. And what you get is 14. Okay. So then, what do you get? For example, here, 14, say, if you just put 1, then, then, then it's going to be. In, uh, it's going to be one forty one. So if you put a two, suppose if I put one forty two into two, two to the four, two four the eight, two and the two. Is it more? It's more than that. So what I'll do is, I'll multiply it once itself, once. So what I get is one forty one. That means one ones are. 1 1 the 1, 1 for the 4, 1 1 the 1. So what do I do is, I get 5 minus 1 is 4, and uh, 12 minus 4 is 8, okay, and this is 0. So what I do is, I put it as 1, 42, okay, so what did I put as 1? Okay, so here we get 142 and you bring down two zeros. After that, it's going to be just zeros. So zero, if it's more, uh, whatever you want, then it'll come down to whatever. So if you want to do it to say one decimal place also, then it's done. So for this, it's like 51.25. Uh, what is the square root will be 7.1 but generally what we do is again if you want here uh, let's just uh, uh, take say 142 okay 142 14 5 fourths are 20 5 say what is 14 into 5 5 fourths are 20 5 and the 5 6 7 okay I can take 5 and C or 17, 6, uh, uh, sorry, 14 uh, into 6, 6, 6, 4, 24, 6, 7, 8, 84. So 
if I if I do 14 into 6 is going to be 84 I'm sure it's going to be 142 into 6 will be more so let's just take into 5 all right so uh, that's how we are going to do and actually say 142 so if I take 5 into 5 5 5 are 25 5 2 are 10 11 12 5 4 are 20 21 5 are 5 6 7 all right so you do get 7 1 2 5 and so on I mean so the th suppose if I put it down and I'll go on so what I do is I'll stop here I write approximately I can write it down as 7.16 approximately because it will go on so why just remember after the decimal point it is the pairing begins from left to right that is the basic idea and otherwise it will go on remember that the quotient and the divisor has to be the same and here you're going to multiply and this side when the in the uh, divisor side you've got to plus it up so this is how because it, it is a long division but it's a little diff different than the other so this is a, by long division method we can work out the square root so please do these and I think you've already done it in 7th or 8th class. Go to those books and see if you can get some and practice them.